Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my whole collection project pan intro for 2022. This is the fourth year I'm participating in this project pan created by Becky Loves Kanga, where you randomize 10 products from your whole beauty collection to work on. I'm very excited to participate in this again. It's kind of like a shop my stash style for me where I have some usage goals as well as some as well as some more traditional panning goals on these products. I still only want to work on two per category so I can keep things moving a little bit better in this project and I will still be using 10 products. I'm hoping today's intro is a little bit on the shorter side as I'm running out of time to film. So let's just hop in to randomizing 10 products and then we'll decide on some goals. I am filming this very early, way ahead of when it's going to go up so that I can better um, strategize my other project pans. Once I know what this fully random project gives me so that I'm not working on too many foundations or concealers or what have you. Whew, this is always a little bit nerve wracking because I have no idea what it's going to give me. We might have to re-roll a few times if we have too many um, duplicates, but I do have in the numbers two to 622. And let's just see what we get. There's our first five. I already think we have too many eyeshadows in here and we'll have to re-roll. Let me just re-roll like three numbers um, just in case so that I don't have to keep going back and forth. All right, you guys. I have quite the selection of products here. I did have to use one of the re-rolls, like the pre-re-rolls I did because the second number I drew in, 523, is ColourPop Weenie, which is currently in my Clean Your Pans project pan. So I have been running up and down the stairs way too many times while filming today. So I'm not going to double dip and put that in this project as well. Okay. Let's hop into it. I am going to go in the order that things were rolled. First up, 572 was my Ace Beauté Grandiose palette. This was in my products I could live without video and none of my family members uh, chose to keep or like they didn't want this palette. So my goal is to use this 10 times and see if I still have that fading issue. If I do, I will just permanently declutter this palette um, because I don't I don't have time for eyeshadows that fade away to nothing on my eyes. But I will be using that ten times to retest this palette and see if it's something I want to keep. You know what? We are going to hop around a little bit because it's a conspiracy. And the second palette that rolled into this project is also a palette I could live without. And again, none of my family members wanted it. The Morphe Kathleen Lights palette. This is very old. This shade is a dud, which I am going to scrape out one of these days. I want to do a TikTok or something when I do that. But the other shades are still performing fine. Um, but I could live without this palette. And I don't feel that I need it in my collection anymore. But if no one else wants to use it either, then I will continue using it. And again, my goal will be to use this palette 10 times. The third number I rolled in, again, skipping weenie, was 86. And that is my Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Verona. Now, I do see some windows in here from how it was sitting in my drawer. But I do not think that this is actually close to being done. My goal will be to use this 20 times and kind of determine if it is. I will store it upright once it is upstairs in my everyday makeup drawer. And if it settles, and I mean if it settles like way down here, I might change my goal to be use it up. I mean if it settles down here after the 20 uses. I know it's not down there right now. Um, 
and we might try and finish this up but for now 20 uses and another lip product I would like to use just 20 times is my Dominique Cosmetics um, peach tea gloss I almost call it lemonade gloss which I guess is also correct this is still very full and I think it would take a lot to finish this I don't know how that writing is way too small 1.6 fluid ounces I can hardly see that. Um, I'm going to use this 20 times and again if it brings it way down then I might change my goal to finish it but I'm going to start off with 20 uses. And then the third lip product that got rolled in is this mini gloss and I would like to finish this. This is the Bare Minerals uh, Lip Gloss Balm in the shade Sincerity. This is actually relatively new to my collection but um, I also need to be finishing up some products within this project as well. So my goal will be to finish this little gloss. I have used it um, a handful of times. I don't know how many uh, fluid ounces are in this little guy, but it shouldn't take too, too much effort to finish this. A product that really wants to be in this project is the Sol de Janeiro Sol Charosa uh, perfume. I rolled this in last year and wasn't able to finish it before the finale. Uh, we are about here and I will finish this in 2022 in this project I guess. It won't take too much effort. It is a small sample size perfume. It smells really beautiful. Um, I was just working on three perfumes coming towards the end of 2021 and that's too much for me to be able to meet my goals. So hopefully now I will be able to finish this one with ease. This was in this whole collection project in 2020. This is the KL Polish in the shade Gumption. It's a very deep, beautiful blue shade. Nail polish is not my favorite to pan, however, so my goal is going to be used my goal is going to be to use this nail polish five times. And I hope to meet those uses um, before winter is over. I rolled in three products that are brand new to my collection. Um, so I'm not going to be finishing up any of them. First, I have the KVD Inkwell liner in the shade uh, Dark Wave. Dark Wave? Dark Star? Something like that? Dark Wave. I think I have Dark Star written in my spreadsheet. It is a blue. Uh, my goal will also be to use this five times. It's a very bright colorful liquid liner and it's in a like well and brush tip so it kind of scares me. I've never used it before but hopefully I can come up with some fun looks with that. Next I rolled in a cream blush from Floss in the shade Sandals. Again, this is brand new. It says a cheek and lip tint, but I do have it in my cream blush category. I really love the tin packaging on this guy. And as it is brand new, I would like to use this 10 times and be able to have a review on this. Um, I don't think I'll be able to finish it. And even so, I have older cream blushes I would like to finish ahead of this one. So I think 10 uses is a good goal on that. I didn't fully realize that this was another liquid eyeliner, but I guess it is. Uh, this was like my re-roll extra product. This is from Aurora and it is their Intensely Precise Eyeliner in the shade Espresso, which is a deep brown. Ooh, not a deep brown, a lighter warm brown. Interesting. It's already bleeding all over my hand, like through the lines of my hand. My goal will be to use this 10 times and see what I can do with it. If it's something I even want to keep, is it just going to be a mess on my eyelids? I'm not really sure. I've never used it before. It's relatively new in my collection. So this is another product I want to be testing out. I guess I should have swatched things a bit more for you. So let's go in reverse a bit. Uh, the cream blush in the shade Sandals is a very beautiful shade. I'm very excited to use this. I've only swatched it a couple of times. Next here is the KVD liner. Ooh, 
very bright and blue. The Ofra liquid lipstick in the shade Verona is a brownish nude shade. The Bare Minerals gloss in the shade Sincerity is kind of a sheer mauve. And the Dominique Cosmetics gloss is this very light, beautiful pink shade. So I have quite the variety of products here to work on coming into 2022. I'm very excited for this project and it always pushes me outside of my comfort zone on products that I'm pulling. Like, I don't know if I would have ever reached for these again after them being in the products I could live without video. So they'll get some more love from me before potentially ultimately being decluttered anyways. And I'll be able to finish up some products in this project as well. Let me know in the comments down below if you're participating in this project this year um, or do you just enjoy watching it. I understand that this project isn't for everyone but I have a lot of fun with it every single year. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!